Hello, everyone. Um, today I'm going to be presenting about uh, precious metals, gold and silver. Uh, those are a, bit of, a couple of good examples. This presentation is brought to you by Miking Luxury Goods and their Luxury Academy. So please check us out on uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and, and YouTube. This is Carola Alvarez, and she um, she's done all the research for this presentation. So big thanks to her. Um, this is me. My name is Carlos Goni. I'm the junior technology specialist, and uh, I'm going to be presenting today. So what is a precious metal, right? We need to know what that is first. And these are the ones that are found. These are the metals that are found in, in, in ores in nature, no, in their pure states. They aren't very, they aren't commonly mixed with other metals and they're highly sought after. And they're they're relatively rare. A good example is gold, and it's found in alluvial deposits in the form of nuggets. And this is broken up um, from the parent rock due to weathering, right? In jewelry, we have five different present metals, which is platinum, silver, gold, rhodium, and palladium, which are considered these are the ones that are considered precious metals. The most common, the most common ones being platinum, silver, and gold. So one of the fundamental characteristics of uh, jewelry is its dur durability. So this is why we use what were called noble materials because they have very little chemical reactions. So they last a lot longer. And, and sometimes um, these noble metals, what will happen is they're not very malleable. So they're hard to work with. So what we do is we, we we make alloys by adding other other metals to them. Uh, what happens when we make these alloys is that these 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 metals sort of acquire a different color. They, they change shade. And don't forget to subscribe for more and check us out on all these social medias. Thank you.